Happy New Year, everybody. David, what's the best way to bring in the new year? I think the best way to bring in the new year is to take some of our favorite bottles, particularly your top 10 bourbons from 2022, and do some blinds with them. Well, I'm excited because I'm trying all my favorites, and that's going to be quite a blind. So Jamie went through the speakeasy and picked her 10 favorite bottles from this year. Uh, they are all bourbons and they're a mix of uh, somewhat findable to impossible to find. None of them are easy to find, but we're going to dive into them and we're going to do a couple videos with these, right? Yeah. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to do five of these. I'm going to randomly pick five and we're going to take uh, another video. The next video is going to be the next five. Uh, the remaining five and then we're going to do the top what two from each cat uh, from each video mm -hmm. and to find out what jamie's favorite bottle was from 2022. now this is the 2xo phoenix blend coming in at a hundred and four proof that's a nice soft berry some floral notes there's caramel little bit of vanilla it's creamy and a little bit of spice so mm -hmm. a little bit of herbal spice on there actually the second time I sniffed that I was like I get some honey that cherry chapstick kind of thing that I get sometimes yeah I'm getting that I'm getting some um, I'm getting a lot of caramel I like the creaminess of it there is a little bit of a baking spice very faint a little oak I'm getting kind of a dried mixed fruit. I get a lot of berry. I get some vanilla, some caramel, a little bit of spice, not too bad. Mm. This one's this one's pretty. It's kind of like a floral yeah. berry, a little bit of that cherry chapstick. Has a great mouth feel. It's Cody and syrupy. I'm starting to pick up a little bit of a of that of a little bit of a peanut. Some nice caramel. Straw. I get and grain. I, do you get any um like hot cinnamon too? Like now my my mouth is kind of hot. Just a little bit. It's more of like a warming baking spice. Mm -hmm. But it took you know. like. It took a little sips, while, yeah, for it starts. Which that's to grow. kind of interesting. Get how... a little bit of a, a little bit of a hug. Just mm -hmm. very faint hug. Mm -hmm. Now we have the Willet Wheat Bourbon. It's eight years age stated coming in at 108 proof. This has like a creamy, almost peanut butter smell. Mm -hmm. That and almost a little bit of like a orange sickle. Orange cream sickle kind of thing? Yeah. Do you get that? Maybe faintly. I get caramel. I get a very, almost a little bit of like a bark. I'm getting like a nice barrel wood on this one. Yeah, there's a, there's a very faint orange on there. I totally see what you're saying. Now it's like a sour orange. With, ooh, it finishes with vanilla caramel. Spice. It reminds me of like an orange taffy. Okay. It has a, kind of an orange taffy quality. Mm -hmm. It's like oranges, blueberries... A little bit of spice, baking spice. The end, I'm getting a little bit of graininess, like cereal, but it's like a a, a very sugary cereal. Yeah, a little kind of a sugary weediness. Mm -hmm. I see that. Like frosted yeah. flakes, maybe, or something. Yeah. With like, do you ever have that strawberry special K? Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. If you sprinkle some sugar in it on top of it. Yeah, very, very sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's very sweet. Special K is not that sweet, but no, it's good. No, no, but this is very, very sweet that way. This one took me about three sips before I started really liking it. Yeah, and it's good. Now, this is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This is a 12-year limited edition. This particular one is A122 from this year, coming in at 120.9 proof. So this, I get a deep, dark richness. It's caramel it's brown sugar melted any, butter melted butter anything butterscotch anything that is super sweet just desserty on the very back end i get i get spice but then i also get a little bit of like fruit 
Yeah, this reminds me of like a vanilla cinnamon roll. That just goes down like a delicate dessert with richness That's of... Good. That's like drinking syrup. It's so thick and viscousy. Wow. That's why your, I had to pull it away. And look at it. Yeah, because yeah. it just, the way it went down was just super syrupy. It's just butter, like a caramel syrup or caramel sauce, mm -hmm. vanilla ice cream. But then it has a balance oh. of a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. A little bit of spice. Proof is, I'm not noticing much proof at all. Mm -mm. Just very, very easy sipping. This yeah. after the holidays is is nice this is this is a wintry sipper for sure it's very spicy and now i'm getting very it's warm it's warm i am starting to get some warmth now but it's not like a proof spice warm mm -mm. it's just kind of a warming aspect to it it's like and, i really like it it's kind of like mm -hmm. when you're drinking whether like it has nothing to do with the taste of hot chocolate but yeah. how you're drinking like a tea or something warm that's going down yeah, and it also I feel it like in my arms too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I'm also starting to pick up a little bit of a faint peanut on it. Mm -hmm. Just faint. It's really pleasant. Now I'm getting a little bit of a warming spice on the palate. I'm too. getting like buttered popcorn, like super warm, just delicious buttered popcorn. That's ridiculously good. What is that? I'm gonna write that. That's what I'm gonna write down is what is that question mark? So I remember that. That experience was good. Here we have the Yellowstone Limited Edition from 2022 coming in at 101 proof. Love the nose on this one. Really? I was about to say, this one's nice and just soft. It's completely different than this mm -hmm. I got. I get like a light, pretty berry on this one. It's super sweet, but it's just ever so faint berry. I'm getting a little bit of a uh, low caramel, little little kind of a graininess, very mild, a little bit of a dusty barrel, like a dry dusty barrel. This reminds me of juice. Especially if it's one of those kids juices that's like organic sugar, like no added sugar. So it's mm -hmm. like, because it's not super sugary. No. But it's just kind of a very pleasant, pleasant thing. And I get that spice. I get some herbalness on there. That is really pleasant. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it's not earth shaking. No. It's just like so it's pleasant. Solid, yeah. Like I'm just good. To me, it's very manageable. Well, it's manageable, <laughs> but there's like a little bit of a, there's like a nice sweetness, like a, almost a hint of a cereal grain sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. And then it's got like a little bit of a uh, kind of a sour fruit, just very, very faint. Because in the in the you know in the finish I'm picking up that little bit of a sour fruit, mm -hmm. uh, but it's almost like a God, almost reminds me a little bit of like a cereal. Okay, I'm like Fruit Loops. Yeah, I'm like reaching yeah. for it and trying really hard to like narrow down what this tastes like because it's familiar. Not that yeah. the bourbon's familiar, the taste, and it's, it's like it's like Fruit Loops. It's like Fruit Loops. Yeah, it's pretty <gasps> solid. It's like Apple Jacks too. Do you know Apple Jacks where it gives oh, you I know a little Apple Jacks. I was an Apple Jacks <laughs> It gives person. you a little bit of fruit but that sugarness mm -hmm. too in there. But it's just ever so light. There's nothing like dark and rich about it. It's like pleasant. It's very pleasant. The proof uh, I'm hardly picking up proof at all. This is just a really nice sipping bourbon. It kind of is. It's not there's nothing that leaps out at you as like incredibly special, mm -hmm. but it's just really good. It puts me in a pleasant mood. Really? Are you going to be nice to me for once? Yeah, it, it literally makes me just like, oh, hey, David, how's it going? <laughs> and this is the Bardstown Discovery 8, coming in at 114 proof, and it's a blend of age-stated product. This nose is fantastic. Brown sugar, wait, caramel. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. No. It's brownies, These are caramel brownies. Cinnamon... Toast. Cin cinnamon crunch toast. Cinnamon cinnamon toast crunch cereal? <laughs> Everything's going to cereal today for you. I Caramel. do get a little bit of that brownie that you were talking about. My nose is dropping. Here, go back because we're tasting it. 
This is like mouth numbing. Caramel, baking spice, almost like carrot cake without the frosting. Mm -hmm. It's like the spiced cake part. Tell me more. Yeah. Super uh -huh. caramel. I'm getting yes. sweetness. I'm getting dessert. I'm getting chocolate. This is a good bottle. Yeah, I will say the palate's delicious, but the nose is is like what bourbon should smell like. Yeah, I get this. That. This nose is just so fantastic. The nose is just fantastic. You finished it. We're we haven't even gone back and forth yet. Number five yeah. is this guy. Okay, that was my number four. So number four was this guy. That was my number five. My number three is this guy. It's life changing. It may be Russell's 13th, 13th colony or Bardstown discovery number eight. And that's my number one. Number two guys was that berry flavored one. I loved it. It it grew kind of warm on the palate. All five of these were really, really good. Number one was, what is that? Melting butter, cream, dessert. This guy was Jamie's jam. Number five, Will, Will it? it. Yep. What I thought. Number four, <gasps> Yellowstone. Okay. Number three, B-O? B-D. Bar Sound <gasps> Discovery. My second place is 2XO. Great, great bottle right there. My number third, my number three, third place for me. Number one, Elijah Craig. This competition ranges in, in price from fairly affordable when it first came out to, I paid 300 for this. This is a very hard to find. My fourth place. I'm glad I got it. And this 12 year age dated Elijah Craig was first and second for mm -hmm. us. The Barstown was third and fourth for us. It's a $140 bottle. It's expensive. Great, great, great bottle. The Discovery 8. The Discovery 9 is supposed to be even better based on what I'm hearing in the community. I haven't tried it yet. If we can get a hold of one, we'll definitely get one. The Yellowstone, $100, $120 retail, I think, $120-ish. Great, great bottle. And... This was a great year for bourbon. If you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Road, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you love the delicious bourbons that we got to taste in 2022. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. David. <laughs> maybe Russell's 13, maybe 13th Colony, <laughs> maybe <laughs> Bardstown 8. I can't believe you gave me some of yours. I had to share because you no stop. No, you gotta <laughs> save it for the for the the placings. So guys, when we come back, we're gonna put them on podiums and we need to really evaluate yeah. this because this is a whole year kind of thing. This is there's a lot going on on this blind. If Jamie were to make a bourbon. That, that'd be if good. if Jamie needs to put some things in a barrel for a long time. <laughs> This is what I would do, guys. We're Buffalo Trace fans, and this to me tastes like Buffalo Trace, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of E.H. Taylor. Yes. So you're doing good whatever bottle you are. <laughs>